The Tale of Kumos the Seeker In the days when God still walked the earth and the world was filled with wonders and terrors alike, there lived a hero named Kumos. Born in a small coastal village in Thessaly, Kumos was known for his unmatched bravery and his insatiable thirst for adventure. His name, which meant of the sea, was well earned, for he was as comfortable on the waves as he was on land. One day, an old sailor came to Kumos with a tale that ignited the spark of adventure in his heart. The sailor spoke of a remote island far beyond the known seas, shrouded in mist and legend. It was said that on this island lay a treasure beyond imagining a golden lyre that once belonged to Apollo himself, hidden in a temple lost to time. The lyre, the sailor claimed, had the power to grant its bearer wisdom and fortune beyond mortal comprehension. Intrigued by the tale, Kamos decided to seek out this fabled treasure. He gathered a crew of loyal sailors and set sail on his ship, Thetis. For many days and nights, they traveled across the vast Aegean, guided only by the stars and the ancient maps the old sailor had provided. As they sailed further into uncharted waters, the seas grew treacherous. The waves crashed against the ship with the force of angry gods, and the skies were often darkened by storm clouds. Yet Kamos, with his unwavering courage, led his men onward, for he knew that great rewards awaited those who dared to brave the unknown. After weeks of perilous journeying, the mist began to part, revealing the silhouette of an island on the horizon. It was unlike any they had seen before tall cliffs rose from the sea, crowned with ancient trees, and strange, haunting melodies seemed to drift on the wind. Kamos knew they had found the island of legend. Landing on the shore, Kamos and his crew made their way through the dense forest that covered the island. The trees were ancient and twisted, their roots rising like serpents from the earth. As they ventured deeper, they came upon a clearing where stood the ruins of an old temple, half buried by the passage of time. The columns were cracked and worn, but the grandeur of the place was still evident. Inside the temple, at the heart of the ruins, they found it the golden lyre of Apollo, resting upon an altar of white marble. The instrument gleamed with a light that seemed to come from within, and the air around it was filled with a soft, enchanting music. But as Kumos approached the lyre, a voice echoed through the temple a voice as deep and resonant as the ocean itself. Mortal, it said, you have come far, but the treasure you seek is not merely gold and jewels. It is wisdom, earned through trial and sacrifice. Before Kamos could react, the ground trembled, and the spirit of the island a giant serpent with scales of silver and eyes like burning coals rose from beneath the earth. The serpent was the guardian of the lyre, placed there by the gods to test the worthiness of any who would claim the treasure. Without hesitation, Kamos drew his sword and faced the serpent. The battle that ensued was fierce and desperate. The serpent struck with lightning speed, its fangs dripping with venom, but Kamos was swift and skilled, dodging and parrying with all his might. The fight raged for what seemed like hours, until finally, with a mighty thrust, Kamos plunged his sword into the serpent's heart. As the serpent let out a final, ear-piercing shriek and collapsed to the ground, the temple fell silent. Kamos, 
weary but triumphant, approached the liar once more. As his hand closed around the golden strings, the voice spoke again. Kamos, you have proven your valor. The lyre is yours, and with it, the wisdom of the gods. But remember this, true wisdom comes not from power alone, but from knowing when to use it. With those words, the lyre's light enveloped Kamos, filling him with a deep understanding of the world and his place within it. He knew then that the treasure he had sought was not just a relic of the past, but a guide for the future. Camos returned to his ship and sailed back to Thessaly, where he became known not just as a hero, but as a wise and just leader. The lyre, which he kept in his home, was said to bring prosperity and peace to all who heard its music. And so, the tale of Camos the Seeker passed into legend, a story told by sailors and bards alike, of a man who ventured into the unknown and returned with the greatest treasure of all wisdom.